Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in this particular video, we are going to solve a lead code trips and users problem. Now this particular problem is marked hard by the lead code and we are going to see how we can solve it. So I'll go back to this, uh, you know, question and I'll leave the link in the description box so that you can also do a hands on on this particular question. Now, since I have already uh, read this question, I'll quickly walk you through about what the question is, right? Now, this question is essentially about your cab bookings. Now, it has two tables, which is trips and a user's table. Now, in this trip table, if you look at this is how the structure looks like. It has an ID column. This ID column is nothing but the primary key column of this table. Similarly, you have something called as client ID and the driver ID, which is nothing but the foreign key to the user's table. To the second table, this is the foreign key and here is the user ID, right? So in the user's table, user ID is nothing but client ID and the driver ID, which is present in this particular table. Similarly, you have something called as city ID. Essentially, where your kind of trip took place, right? Similarly, you have a status column, which is nothing but which defines the status of your trip right whether your trip was completed it was cancelled by the driver or you know it was cancelled by the client similarly you have a request at column now this request at is essentially the date when the trip took place right when the request was made right this is your trip sta uh, trips table and similarly you have a users table in the users table user id is nothing but uh, you know primary key for this table but the foreign key for uh, you know your first table where you have client ID and the driver ID, right? So this user ID is nothing but client ID and the driver ID. Also, it has band column. Now this band column is nothing but if a user is kind of banned from, from taking a trip, right? In that case, uh, you know, the band column will be yes, otherwise it will be no. So basically yes or no column, which defines whether a user is banned from taking a trip. Also, it has a role column. Now, this role column defines whether, you know, the person who is taking the trip is essentially, you know, the client, driver or the partner, right? So, these are the two tables and they have also defined something called as cancellation rate. Now, what is this cancellation rate? So, if they have to check the cancellation rate on a particular date, right? What is the rate of cancellation of trips on a particular date? They have defined it as the total number of trips, right the total number uh, uh, the total number of cancelled trips divided by the total number of trips you know how many trips were actually cancelled divided by the total number of trips now these requests should be made by unbanned users only that is what they have mentioned right so cancellation rate is nothing but the uh, you know you get that particular cancellation rate by dividing the number of cancellations made by unbanned users divided by the total number of requests with unbanned users on that particular date right that is the cancellation rate now what they are asking as an output is they are saying that give us the cancellation rate right between this date to this date right and round the cancellation rate to two decimal points right so here we need to uh, you know have few things in our mind the first thing is we need to filter on the date because they are asking for the cancellation rate between so and so date and they want us to round it by the two decimal points right and the cancellation rate should be done by unbanned users these are the three things that we need to keep in mind now for the band we already know that we have this band column in the users table Right. Similarly, for the date we have in the first table, we have request at as as the date column. So we are going to do a filter definitely on the request at as well as the band. Right. These two columns we are going to do a filter. Now, let's uh, before moving on to the solution, let looks let let us look at how the input and output looks like. So they have given an example of the input. So if you see, this is the ID, which is primary key. Then you have client ID, you have driver ID, city ID, status and the request at which is nothing but the date now if i go back to the users table it looks something like this user id band and the role whether he's a client driver or a third party now similarly how the output should look like is something like this day and the cancellation rate so these are the uh, two outputs 
call two output columns which they want so from this day we actually know that what day they are talking about right it is nothing but the same input date that you have and cancellation rate is something that we need to calculate so let me just copy these two and uh, we'll see how we can write it right i'm just copying the exact column names that's all right now if i go here i already know that i need to do a select request at now this is the column that i need to do a select on right because to get the day right i need the same column request at this request at is nothing but the day when the trip was made right now let me say as day which is the alias that we are going to give and then we want something something as the cancellation rate right these are the two output columns that we want and right now we are pretty clear that we had to we have to join these two tables right so let us you know first try to do a join and try to do a filter on the band column as well as on the uh, date column so let me do one thing uh, you know we have already given some alias to the cancellation rate like we have this alias now we want to do a join right from the from the trips table and on the users table right so now let us write a join and for trips let me alias it with t from the users and let me alias it with u right and now let me write the join condition of on right t essentially the trips table right now client id is there right client underscore id we have this client underscore id in the trips table where which can be used as the join conditions on the users table with the users id which is very clear right and we also need to make sure uh, you know that it should the person should not be banned right now let me say and right now my users table uh, is u over here not c let me make it as u and u dot let me say that u dot band is equal to no so the person is not banned right now similarly i have uh, you know uh, driver id as well so the same condition i'm actually going to write for my driver id as well right because that is also a join condition right so let me just write join again i will say users because again i want to join on the users table now this join will essentially now for this let me alias it as d right now similarly t dot client id uh, will be essentially d dot user id over here and instead of client id since i am doing it for the driver now, now let me say it as driver id right and d dot band equal to no so this is what we uh, you know our join conditions this is how our join condition will look like so we are joining it let me just explain it once more we are joining it on the users table right the first join between users tables and the trip table will be based on the client id and the second join will be based on the driver's id over here based on the driver id and in both the scenarios we have to make sure that this condition that the person is not banned is satisfied so that is why we are again filtering and saying that u dot uh, u dot uh, band equal to no right and d dot band equal to no so we are making sure that the person is not banned and similarly we need to do a filter on the date condition as well because in the question they have given us the date as well that you have to find the cancellation rate between so and so date right so this is the date right now let me add a where clause here where my first this is my column right request at now let me say where request at between so we can use between clause you know to uh, filter between two dates so let me just copy this exact date and put it over here between this and now i have another date so let me again copy that as well 
the second date is this so we are essentially doing nothing but we are just trying to filter it by the date that they have given right so this is how it looks like now uh, you now till now we have done the join we have done the filtering based on the band column we have done the filtering based on the date column as well now we have to der derive the cancellation rate now we need to understand to derive the cancellation date let me just give some space here so now we need to understand to derive cancellation rate we need to do sum right we need to do sum on the trips table so everything will be a sum on the trips table because trips the number of trips will actually be defined by the trips table only right so we need to do a sum let me uh, you know we need to do a sum on trips table where the status is not completed so the cancellation can only be done where the status is not completed right because otherwise there are see if if you look at this so in the status part you have three status completed cancelled by driver and cancelled by client so now if i try to do sum on this table right based on date based on date if i try to do sum and i say that the status is not completed right now in that case i will actually get the uh, count of the trips which are cancelled right so let me try to just write it so that it is a little more clear so if i say sum right if i say sum and let me say it as t dot status because this is what we have t dot status is not equal to let's say i'll write it as completed right and this is the sum right now if i am doing this i also need to group by date right i also need to do a group by based on date now if i say group by over here let me say group by this particular request at date right now the moment i do group by this particular date now you can see that i will actually get the sum of the trips which are cancelled right now to fetch the cancellation rate i need to divide it by all the i need to divide it by all the trips right already i have filtered on band equal to no all the trips which are not band right it is already filtered now i'm just doing a count star over here so the first part will actually give me the count of trips which are cancelled and the second will give me all the trips but just because i have these join conditions i am also filtering it based on the date as well as i am also filtering it whether uh, the person is banned from traveling or not right and then the last point here is to do a round right so in sql we kind of do round like this right we have this round function now we have to round it to the two decimal places so if i do this right now this is what will give me my cancellation rate right so what we have done we'll just quickly summarize over here so we have a request at as day now we have round right using this round i am trying to round everything to the two decimal places i am trying to round my cancellation rate to the two decimal places and we have joined it based on the users we have joined it uh, you know based on the client id we have joined it based on the driver id and we are making sure that we are only picking up the users who are not banned as well as we are also checking where the request date is between so and so date right so this is how essentially it looks like now let me try to do one thing we'll just try to run it so essentially uh, this is uh, my sql code uh, it will not run on the sql server so let me just paste it over here now it will be fine because all these functions right the the syntax was essentially my sql syntax that i have written now let me just try to run this code and we'll see how the output looks like in the meanwhile even you can go and you know you can go and try to check uh, you know this uh, how does how you can actually uh, do a hands on on the same question now it says syntax error the, essentially the syntax error is this cancellation rate i just need to put it in the double quotes because this is the alias column name right now similarly uh, let me just try to run this code so now if you see uh it has accepted the code and it, uh, code and it has run it as well so the basic test 
test cases have been passed so let me just try to submit it and see whether you know the other test cases are passed or not so now you can see that the other test cases are also passed now similar thing you can also try on do let me know in the comment section if you have any issues related to this question we'll just connect again after some time with a new question so thank you so much for being till here